Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And as you can see, my hair is looking pretty frightening. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna prep my hair and what I'm gonna start with doing is using the wild growth oil. I'm gonna apply it to the ends and my scalp just to make sure that when I am clar clarifying my hair with the shampoo, that I don't lose too much oil and my hair doesn't get all dry. So then I'm going to massage it into my scalp and then I'm going to be using one of my favorite shampoos which is this clarifying moisturizing detangling shampoo from cream of nature and as you can see I'm just concentrating more on the lengths of my hair rather than my scalp because I don't want to get rid of all of that oil I've just applied okay and these are the results what my once my hair has been washed and cleansed then I'm going to go in with the color protecting Cantu shea butter deep conditioning mask and I've shown you this in my previous video and it's specially formulated for color treated hair So once applied, I'm gonna leave my hair in these two twists and let that sit for about 30 minutes. Okay, and these are the results once I've washed out the deep conditioner. My hair is super moisturized and soft and super bouncy as you can see right there. I know I was shocked too. <laughs> okay, then I'm gonna apply my leave-in conditioner that you saw in my last video, which is the Pure Honey line from Cream of Nature. Yes, I was struggling. My hands were all wet, the bottle was very hard to hold. So I just ended up spraying it into my hands and then applying it to my hair. Yes, Nini, that's right. <laughs> and this is the easier way for me to apply it to my hair. If you didn't see from my last video, I was explaining why the packaging, in this case, let Cream of Nature down, but I still love the product. So for added moisture rather than a styler, I'm gonna be using the Beautiful Textures Moisture Butter, just so my hair is super moisturized when it's in protective styling. Okay, there you go guys, I'm using Dax Beeswax to seal in all that moisture. Yes, wax, <laughs> I'm using all of that to seal in all the moisture. So I'm going to apply it to my scalp and the lengths of my hair just to seal in, as I said, any bit of moisture I can. Okay, so I've applied all the wax into my hair and I'm just gonna go ahead and braid my hair. I'm not gonna show you on this one because I've shown you in a previous video, but I will be showing you the end result once my hair is complete. So here you go, here's the end result guys. My hair is super moisturized, still wet and full of product. As you can see, I've got product residue at the back, but I'm not gonna wipe that off. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave that to soak into the strands of my hair. 
Okay guys, so this was just a quick one. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below in the description box. See you in the next one. Bye guys.